is going on guys clickwood here back again bringing you guys another madden 16 ultimate team video and guys what we're gonna be doing today is doing a quick lineup update and also guys i'm gonna talk about the pink slip series starting up again i know a lot of you guys are excited for it i am as well but let's get started off with the video today we're gonna start off by talking about our updated lineup so let's go in here and start off by taking a look at the offense First things first, obviously, the captain of the team, Tony Romo. You guys know I'm a big Tony Romo homer, but I will tell you this. I think this is one of the better underrated quarterbacks in this game. He's super, super cheap because, you know, like he's not very mobile. But if you're somebody like me who doesn't take off and run with your quarterback very often, I feel like Romo is extremely, extremely good. He's very, very accurate with his throws, and I don't really have a whole lot of problems with him missing passes, to be completely honest with you. So I'm a big fan of this card. Definitely one of my favorite players for a, a cheap budget quarterback if you want to get in on that. You guys know I have 7.5 million coins, and I know a lot of you guys are wondering why I'm not updating the team even more than this. The reason for it is because I want to have more coins to do pack opening videos to do um to do pink slips and give you guys some awesome stuff because it's not fun playing pink slips for 20,000 coins you know like we got to do like big wagers we got to do stuff that's fun um that puts me on the edge that gives you guys something to play for and it's fun to watch on video as well so that's really the goal behind having all those coins to be completely honest with you I'll probably have you know like a solid to good team for the rest of Madden I doubt that I'll ever have like an all 99 squad or anything like that unless somebody wants to to give me those cards because like like I said I just really like to give stuff away to you guys and um and it's hard for me to do that and afford to actually have a good team as well so uh anyway yeah let's get in talk about a little bit more about the team uh CJ Spiller at running back this is a campus hero obviously and then we've got the most feared Dre Archer backing him up it's all about speed, man. Speed and agility, that's what these guys are. CJ Spiller, also a really good receiving running back as well. I've been utilizing my running backs a lot more in the passing game recently, so I'm trying to get some guys that can go out there and catch passes, and I think Spiller can do that pretty darn well. Uh, wide receiver, oh, let's talk about fullback. I think this is the only gold card on my team, other than maybe like kicker and punter, but um, Marcel Reese, 86 overall, but if you look at his attributes, like there's not really a whole lot to worry about with him. He's really quick, has good strength, good run blocking, um, you know, like carrying is good, like everything is really good. He's not that great with the ball in his hand, but like... All that I really do with my fullbacks typically is dump it off to them in the in the flat or, you know, like occasionally we'll put them on like an up route or like an out route or something like that. Um, you know, like a, I don't know, occasionally we'll put them on deeper routes, but really for the most part, it's those table routes out of the backfield for the fullback. And that's what he's really good at doing. And also, obviously, he's a, a solid run blocker as well. He's not the best run blocking fullback by any means, but he's good enough. All that I really want my guys to do is go out there and run into the defender. Like, I'm not expecting him to go out there and get great pancake blocks. Just give me like a moderate second to run the ball. Like, that's all that I really want out of my fullback. So uh, Reese has done a good job with that when we've been playing with him. Wide receiver, we're going with Brian Finner in the Ghost of Madden's past. Brian Finner in that is my number one wide receiver. He is an absolute freaking monster. Six foot five, not the best speed in the world, but all the other receivers that I have are ridiculously fast, so I'm not too worried about that. He's our guy that goes up there and makes the aggressive catches. That's what his job is, and he's really, really good at it. Great, great catching. Great catching in traffic attributes at a 98, 99 jumping with a six foot five frame. Like, there's nobody beating him on jump balls. That's the end of the story. Like, there just isn't anybody that can go up there and beat him for a jump ball. So I really like this Brian Finneran because of that. He doesn't have great route running. It's decent enough, but it's not spectacular. Um, obviously, elusiveness and things like that. He's not great for rack catches or anything like that, but um, going up there and getting those physical catches is where it's at for him. On the other side, we're starting this Amari Cooper, which I know isn't the best player in the game, and he's super cheap, but this card is really, really good. 95 speed. Great catching attributes, great route running, uh, pretty much everything that you would look for in a solid wide receiver too. And he's also pretty decent size too at a six foot one. He's not a midget, so he can go out there and make some great plays for us as well. Now in the slot, we're using Tyler Lockett. He is a ridiculously fast wide receiver, obviously. 97 speed. You're not really going to find many guys that are faster than that. And then we've also got John Brown for certain situations where we need to have more than three wide receivers on the field. And uh, yeah, both these guys are extremely, extremely fast. I'm along with Amari Cooper being 95 speed. Like, I just have a whole bunch of speed to go along with Brian Finneran. It's very, very difficult to stop that, and I think a lot of people are going to have a lot of problems stopping my, my passing game when I go into those three wide receiver sets, four wide receiver sets, um, especially if I go out there and I've got Gary Barnage at tight end as well. I know a lot of people are wondering why I'm starting an 85 overall tight end, and I'll tell you right now, guys, I feel like this Gary Barnage might be one of the most underrated players in this game, 
period. Uh, you look at his attributes, 88 speed, very, very fast. He's almost as fast as Brian Finner in my wide receiver one. So uh, very, very quick for a tight end. If you compare him to Jimmy Graham, yeah, Jimmy Graham's got better catching attributes, better route running, better elusiveness, all that kind of stuff that you would look for as far as just a pure catching tight end. But uh, but Gary Barnage actually has an 88 speed. So he's actually three speed faster. He's also a substantially better run blocker, six strength better, set or a uh, third. What is that? 18 run blocking better. Like that's crazy. Gary Barnage is so balanced. He's such a good player. And he also has great catching in traffic. I like to send my tight ends on slants very, very often. And uh, going into traffic, making those catches against those linebackers when they're hitting him, he is definitely one of the better players to do that at the tight end position. So I'm a big fan of him. On the offensive line, we don't have the best offensive line. We've got two legends here. Obviously, they're two of the better line linemen that you can have. But at left tackle, we're actually starting Greg Robinson. And the reason for it is because he has such a rig ridiculously good run blocking attribute 94 with 98 strength he is just a tank at run blocking and I like to run the ball a lot so uh it's very very important to me that these guys are able to pick up their run blocks now one thing that he doesn't have is great pass blocking he's only an 85 for pass blocking I know a lot of people are going to be like I'm out immediately <laughs> on a Greg Robinson but I'm telling you guys this card is not that bad at pass blocking one of the things that is in Madden Madden 16 this year that I like I've just noticed Pass blocking just isn't that important. I know that sounds crazy, but like it seems like just pass blocking in general is somewhat overpowered. And that's why you see so many people running nano blitzes, or I shouldn't call them nano blitzes because I know that's not the right terminology, but what people call nano blitzes, um, things where you send guys and, and you overload pressures and stuff like that. Like a lot of people like to do that. And that's that's the thing. Those are all designed to go through being untouched. So your pass blocking attribute in those types of situations is irrelevant. So I don't even worry about that with a guy like Greg Robinson. It's just not something I even worry about. So um, that's how we go with him. And then at the uh, right guard position, we've got Zach Martin, who is only an 86 overall, but he is really, really balanced as well. He actually is better at pass blocking than he is at run blocking, but he's still got a 91 run block along with solid strength, um, good acceleration and speed too. So when I actually go out there and I do some of those runs to the outside where he's got to get out there to the next level, he can definitely do it. And that's one thing that I think a lot of people don't think about when they go into their offensive linemen. Um, you want guys when, when they're pulling to be able to go out there and actually get to the linebackers, get Get to the safeties and Zach Martin is one of the few guys that can do that in this game so I uh, definitely like him um, Chris Clark at the right tackle position another solid player as well um, definitely guys I, I really tried my best to uh, just get guys who are solid across the board I don't want guys that are liabilities in the run game specifically so um, that's really what we go for on the offensive line now defensively We've changed a ton on our defense, guys. Let's start off with the safeties. We've got Glover Quinn. He is still there from, from before, but I actually moved him from free safety over to strong safety. I still feel like he's one of the better safeties in this game. Now, I know his overall drops to an 87 at strong safety, but the attributes are all there for him to be really good. He has great speed, great acceleration, great tackling. Um, his zone coverage is excellent as well. Hit power at an 85, like Everything that I would look for in a safety, Glover Quinn has. So I'm not overly worried about him. And then on the other side, we've got Reggie Nelson. Team of the year, Reggie Nelson. Very, very good card as well. Not super expensive. So you can go out there and get him if you guys are running on a little bit more of a budget team. Uh, Ryan Shazier in the middle is a guy who I usually user control. And then we've also got Dion Buchanan as well. So I user control either one of these two guys with my 3-4 defense. And, um, you know, it's all about speed, acceleration, um, you know, agility, and catching pretty much. Hit power is also important. And I think all uh, both these guys have a lot of that. Taylor Mays is also somebody that I like to send on blitzes. I use him as my right outside linebacker. Sometimes I'll, I'll sub in Lawrence Timmons to do that as well. Um, but I really like this Taylor Mays card. I think he's uh, a a very underrated player in this game as well with all of his hit power and speed and acceleration and things like that. Jamie Collins, team of the year, outside linebacker at left outside linebacker. Another really, really good card, guys. If you haven't looked at this thing, um, attributes-wise, he is just an absolute monster. So uh, definitely a big fan of my linebacking crew. I, I think we really couldn't do much of a better job other than if we were spending millions and millions of coins on it. Um, then on the secondary, we're starting off with Rondé Barber. Definitely one of my favorite players in this game right now. He is pretty much everything that you would look for in a cornerback. The only thing that he doesn't have is height. 
Five foot ten is short. I understand uh, if he was going up against a Brian Finneran like on my team, I might have a little bit of a problem with that. I might have to put a guy over the top to try and you know stop a little bit of the aggressive catching. But still, Ronnie Barber is really really good. Ninety three speed. He's got amazing zone coverage at a ninety eight. Still a ninety four for man coverage as well. His press is crazy with a ninety five. Pretty much everything you would look for in a cornerback, like I said, other than the catching or other than the uh, height. So uh, yeah, definitely a big fan of Ronde Barber. And then we're also rocking the team MVP Jonathan Joseph on the other side. Another really really good underrated cornerback. I feel like yes, he's a little bit short as well, but we've got Dominic Rogers, Cromartie, and Patrick Peterson that we can sub in as well. So both those guys have a little bit of size, um, and both of them are really really good as well. Those are um, we've got the team captain one, and then we've got the draft champions Patrick Peterson. So uh, good cornerbacks there. And then as our uh, what is this fifth corner? I think yeah, fifth corner. Vonte Davis, another really really good cornerback, um, underrated, great press as well. So that's really what we've been rocking with in the secondary. I think it's a it's a pretty good um, setup there that we have. Defensive line, Ezekiel Ansa is our main pass rusher on the defensive line absolute beast of a card guys if you haven't checked this thing out um real real nasty now granted i will say this most people recommend going with somebody with higher block shed on your defensive line in a 3-4 completely understand he isn't quite as good in run in uh, run stopping but at the same time though i don't really feel like i have a huge problem stopping the run even with him on the defensive line like i i haven't really noticed it being much of a problem if we start to see it being a problem, I might have to make some changes, but I still feel like he's doing a great job for me, and he's getting after the quarterback really, really well as well. So uh, definitely a big fan of him. Damon Harrison in the middle of the defensive line, and then occasionally we will have Don Terry Poe out there as well if we're running like a, a dime defense or something like that where we've got four D linemen. And then also uh, Bruce Smith on the other side. Another really, really good card. I was trying to find somebody that was better than Bruce Smith for even like remotely the same price, and I really wasn't able to come across anybody. So um, I'm a big fan of him, but... Specialists, uh, kicker Dustin Hopkins, like nothing really spectacular. I, I'm probably gonna upgrade that. I don't even know. Like, I think he's got good kick power though, not like amazing, but yeah, 95 kick power is pretty solid, so I'm not too worried about that. King at punter, obviously the speed, but like that's just for kick returns and stuff like that, so I'm um, not overly worried about punter. And then, um, we're rocking with Tyler Lockett as our kick returner as well with three archers, so uh, really good players and the uh, the specialist positions as well. So that is the lineup, guys. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about the Pink Slip series itself as well. I know a lot of you guys are huge fans of the series. I'm a big fan of doing it. It's probably my favorite thing that I do on this channel and uh, Twitch. So if you guys have never seen my Pink Slip series, I'm going to encourage you to go in, type into the search engine, type in Madden 15 Pink Slips or um, Madden 25 Pink Slips, something like that. Type in one of those things because you'll come across older videos of mine where I actually play people in Pink Slips games. You can check it out, see how the series works, and and just it's just a fun way for me to play against you guys live on stream. So what we do is on twitch.tv forward slash TV. Go over there and follow that channel if you haven't yet on Twitch. We do this live every weekend. We're probably going to try and do it now through pretty much the end of Madden 16. So it should be just about every weekend, if not throughout the week on occasion as well. I'll let you guys know about that. But um, this weekend, we're going to try and do it. It's going to be Saturday or Sunday. I don't know exactly when yet. I'm sorry. I know it's kind of late late notice, but I, I don't know exactly when it's going to be quite yet. So I'll, I'll let you guys know. But if you follow the stream, you'll get a notification when I go live. Um, and also, guys, I'll put out a video here on YouTube when we're going live. But the basic idea behind Pink Slips is that we I play against one of you guys, and you don't have to put anything on the line, but I'll risk a card. So like, let's say, for example, um, let me take a look at my lineup here. Let's say, for example, we were playing for uh, Team of the Year Tyler Lockett, okay? So what I'll do is I'll say, we're going to play Pink Slips right now for team, team of the Year Tyler Lockett, and then everybody that's in the, the stream at that time over on Twitch will have an opportunity to enter the random giveaway, basically. So um, it'll be like, you know, it'll be a trivia question or something like that, and I'll pick one of the, the winner, whoever, whoever wins the trivia question, and you'll play me live. Live on stream in front of everybody. If you beat me, you win this Tyler Lockett card. If you don't beat me, or if I beat you, excuse me, you don't have to give me anything. So it's a really easy way for me to give stuff away to you guys and for us to have fun. So it's basically like a punishment if I lose games. And I'm not that great at math, so uh, I lose quite often. So uh, hopefully you guys will come by the stream and enjoy it this weekend. Uh, we'll play for something a little more than Tyler Lockett. I'm thinking probably like maybe even coins to start off. You Usually we'll play for a card, but I'm thinking maybe what we'll do is start off for coins. Maybe we'll start off with like a 200,000 coin pink slips game or something like that. So first game of the day, we'll play 200,000 
100,000 coins on the line. If you beat me, you win that. It's a really fun thing, though, guys. So hopefully you guys will come on over to the stream again, twitch.tv forward slash clickwithtv. If you haven't followed it yet, be sure to do that. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun if you've never watched it before. It's a fun thing for us to do. Um, everybody gets involved. Everybody trolls me when I make mistakes. And some people cheer for me. Usually people cheer against me, but that's totally fine. It's all in good fun. Um, I wouldn't do it if it wasn't fun for me. So, um, again, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the quick lineup update. If you did, quickly do me a favor. Press that like button and subscribe to this channel if you're new as well. I would greatly appreciate all the support that you guys have given me and are giving me and will give me in the future. So thank you guys. Hopefully I will see you here on Saturday or Sunday. I'll, again, I'll put out a video and let you know when it'll be. But until then, guys, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you again soon.